I mean, I know you could kind of hear what someone says, but it's beeped, but you don't really know what she said, right? Like, so I think that's a bad example. Look, I always believe Catherine, Catherine, look, Catherine knows Kathy Hilton more than a hundred percent of the people listening minus maybe one person random that's going to tell me that no they're best friends with Kyle that's listening and they know Kathy right so but short of that she knows these people way more than any of us so yeah I believe Catherine and I believe it and I just it doesn't make sense to me and then the fact that she's going to tell Erica I mean where Catherine's point is like Erica's whole audience is gay her whole fan base for Pat the Puss is gay like why would you say this to one of your enemies so to speak doesn't make sense I thought I thought Catherine's take made a lot of sense like well how could how could Erica really maybe hear the whole thing in the club anyway so she might have misinterpreted it you know um and it does seem like Kathy doesn't curse and I mean I would think Kathy is smart enough to know you you wouldn't say that but I don't know. You know, nothing su surprises me with people, but. Uh... You, know, you know what surprises me? What? What surprises me is current day Lisa Rinna, as Sutton says, social media behavior. I mean, this is where it's like, look, the show's on pause, right? The show's on pause. And you're not Kyle and you're not Erica. And you're not Garcelle. Well, you're not 100% in, girl. So if I were Lisa, I would be laying low. I mean, we have this whole Twitter thing where the Twitter is she deactivated it, they deactivated it. We we'll can get into that. But like on Instagram, I mean, she's a, you know, that whole thing where she did like a week or two ago where she's like, they gave such a tribute to Lois more than almost anyone has gotten, you know, as far as the family member. She's mad. Now she's arguing they didn't want me to have any sympathy. So I understand she's saying it's tied to that, but she's mad they didn't show this hand-drawn picture of Lois. So she's mad. She's coming out against production and Andy, she's mad. Then two days later, Andy's saying like, yes, Lisa Rinna had an envelope. The, the contents of the envelope were the thing with Sutton and the Elton John. We had to edit that. Nobody cares anymore. And Lisa so Rinna goes on a tirade against Andy. It was two envelopes, not one. What? I don't care how many envelopes, like what? Like, why are we like arguing? Cares, right? Like she's like, girl, like shh, for your own good. I'm trying to save your job, Rinna. Like, shh, listen to me. Let's listen to daddy David. Like, just stop, stop posting about this crazy shit. Like lay low. Like you're not going to I think she thinks it's going to help her keep her job. And I think it's the opposite. Do you? She's so smart. Okay. I know we have to or go. She just not, she just not care. Well, that's she what I was going to ask you. Do you, what do you think is going on? Or do you think, because I do believe, I think Nini's downfall. And of course our mutual love for Carlos King, he basically said this on your show. Nini became, it, 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 Nini bought into the hype you know, of everybody saying you're, you're the show, you're the show, you're it. No, what they can't replace, you know, and Nini unfortunately like believed it. And then here we are. Right. So I, I didn't think that that could happen to Renna, but I'm almost wondering if that's happening to Renna, if Renna's little circle is just saying you are, they'll, they can't do away with you, you know, say anything you want to say, you've been on so long, you know, I mean, her social media posts seem to suggest it. I mean, even her post, she just did a, she works hard for the money video where at the end it ended up being about like Rinna Beauty. But I mean, this video, I mean, yes, she is posting as if she is Gaga and Madonna and Beyonce and Taylor Swift and Demi Lovato all rolled into one. Like as if Lisa Rinna is bigger than Beyonce, the way she posts on her social media. So yeah, maybe she has bought into the hype. You know who's really good at this is like, unless she's pushed and then she comes out and she's like, it's my fucking show and I'll get you kicked off, is Teresa, Teresa Giudice. She is the whole show. She's the, the, the she's never going to be fired. And she doesn't really, you know, she doesn't give a fuck. She wants her green Benjamins. She wants a deposit. And other than like when a Margaret's coming at her or Melissa and she's like, yeah, bitch, it's my show. I'll show you. Like other than when Teresa gets pushed off against the wall and snaps and her head spins around, she doesn't really wake up and say, I'm Teresa Judice and get off on it. She doesn't. She's a good one to follow. But yeah, I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe Rinna is becoming like a Nini and she just, her head is really that big. I don't understand. 
I don't understand. Oh that, God, we'll have to talk about Nini's latest interview next too. I mean, in our next episode, there's so much other news going on. It's oh. it's such a like I said, it, it, we are living through the just the golden era of tell of, of reality TV. It's so good. I would love to be a fly on the wall of of what is happening behind behind the scenes, these conversations with producers, but they, they have a huge hit on their hands. And I do think they've learned. And I, I you know, yes, I know it's dark, but I don't see them making a ton of changes. I, I just, they've been there, they've done that. And I mean, is RHOC going to be any good? I mean, we'll talk about that next episode, but I mean, Vicky's back left and fucking right. I mean, you know, they're nervous. I mean, if they, if they're bringing Vicky back, it's like, Carlos King. Okay, here I go. I, I just go back to Carlos King all the time. But Talk to me. he said it all the time. He said, if I were running the show at Bravo right now, I would get rid of all these new idiots. I would just go back to the old school, way back. All the old cast would come back. I wouldn't even mess with any, nothing against them. I, I shouldn't even call them idiots, but, you know, nothing against these new players, but they're just not even in it, you know? And I agree with him. I just think people that watch Housewives are millennials. They're they're like the next, what is the next generation? Gen Z? No. Yeah. Or is it Gen so. X? I don't know. Whatever, whatever. I don't know. Um, so, you know, it's the, it's, they, they remember 10 years ago. They remember when it, they don't care. I think a lot about some of these new people come in and do okay, but. So what, like on Atlanta, we basically did that. I mean, I guess what we should, we should get rid of Sanya Richards and bring back. I mean, I don't know. Look, I want Nene back. I want, um. Oh my God. I want Phaedra back. I mean, I used to love like Phaedra. I'm sorry. I love Phaedra. Um, Portia, I could, Portia, I could like take her or leave her. But yeah, I, mean, I, I, I could actually take her or leave her too. Phaedra. Phaedra is the number Phaedra. one person on Atlanta, which Andy says we're not done with her and blah, blah, blah. So we'll see. Um, no, I, and I do agree with you before we go about Rinna. Look, I think if Rinna's back, it's going to be a conversation. It's going to be a phone call. It's going to be a like, listen, we saved your job by the skin of your teeth and you're not getting a pay decrease, but like you got to I think she's going to get a warning to behave and lighten up. And I do agree. I think maybe the edit, the way they use her, it will be lighter and it will be less Rinna, but still having her there, giving her the chance. Now, look, I don't think they control it like that because they did that with Nini and she didn't get it. She, she went spiraled out of control. So I think if, but if Rinna, like you say, knows what she's doing and she's spoken to and she's, her job is saved and they're using her in a smaller capacity or the way it's edited, she should just buy into that as opposed to trying to fight it. Right. Yes. Cause look where it lands in Nini, not anywhere good. No, we'll talk about that next episode. Next time we have so much to talk about. Um, we just did Beverly Hills again. Guys, the next episode is not gonna be about Beverly Hills. No Bev Hills. All right, Sarah. So we're gonna find me behind the velvet rope. Where are we gonna find you? And then we're gonna do another episode very soon. TikTok at the Sarah Frazier Show. Sarah